But I suppose there's no accounting for taste. The winter solstice, 1270. Midinvern, the night of magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the hanged man's tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Back with me, friend. Got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. I chased you for lots of reasons. You owe me some explanations to start with. Let's say I do. Tell me about Yennefer. What happened after I departed? She was feverish for several days. Delirious. In agony. We thought that was it. She was on her way out. Somehow she recovered. But even then she was disoriented. Amnesia like you. What then? Well, the woman turned out to be quite a character. Throwing temper tantrums. Trying to seduce Ox. Trying to drive a wedge between us. Jeez. After you so nobly sacrificed yourself, we thought it'd be dumb just to leave her somewhere. She wouldn't have survived more than a month. The whims and vigor of a duchess, but she was just a sorceress with no memory. We were in the heart of the Empire. And as I'm sure you know, Geralt, in Nilfgaard, Mages who behave like that either drop their bad habits quickly or are drawn and quartered by horses in the middle of Victory Square. So I heard. So we set out, wandered through the provinces. Everywhere we went, she got in trouble and we pulled her out. And then one day they captured us. The Imperial Secret Police. Me, Ark, Serret and Yennefer. Imperial Secret Police? Mm-hmm. We were separated, and they questioned us. Long and thoroughly, but it was uneventful. What kind no of girl violence. was I into? That's how I met Vatia de Rideau. And a couple of weeks later, the Emperor himself. Me. A simple witcher. What happened to Yennefer? I don't know. Never saw her again. The Emperor offered me a mission in the Northern Kingdoms. As for Yennefer, I had the feeling she was somehow important to Emir. As I see it, they learned of the Lodge from her. Those Imperial spooks have their ways. All I heard is that Vatier had his men watch Yennefer closely throughout the time she was at the palace. Then we went off to slay the kings of the north. And that's where my knowledge ends. So she's in the Empire? She was when I left. Care to tell me what it was all about? Hmm. Kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. Breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soften it before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the northern monarchs will accuse one another. Pursue their God-given rights. Seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. 
The North resembles a whorehouse on fire. <laughs> as your friend Dandelion would say. How did you know where we'd find the Wild Hunt? Every witcher who wears the viper around his neck knows the place. We had so many books and scrolls about the hunt that I used to think our school was founded for the very purpose of solving the riddle of the Spectral Riders. Know who they are? You know the true identities of the Riders? From what I understand, they're some damn elven race. But they turned out to be a big ruse. The legendary omen of war proved to be a fairground attraction. No Market Square mage could possibly conjure up a cavalcade of wraiths speeding across the sky. Then there's the amnesia. No, there's something more, I assure you. Go ahead, enlighten me. I can tell you want to. There are a lot of legends and myths about it, but the Wild Hunt is a fact. I've fought and killed many of its wraiths. They were spectral emanations, the avatars of real riders. The riders we ran into by the Hanged Man's Tree. Are you telling me you were carried off by elves? Real material sons of bitches like the ordinary kind we deal with in this world? They may be ordinary in their world, but they're strangers in ours. The conjunction of spheres, know the theory? Do you know how monsters appeared in our world? There's not a witcher who doesn't know that. So you know there are other spheres. The most powerful of our mages can open passages between these worlds, and they usually do that to summon the monsters we then have to hunt. The elves we saw come from another world, and they weren't summoned. They found the way on their own. It's not exactly easy, so they usually send their spectral emanations. They come in person on special missions. As they did for you and Yennefer. So, elves from another world and their trained wraiths. What did they want from you? I've got an idea. But that's not your concern. Well, okay, I'll fight him now. It seems like, I don't know what kind of type of girl she's in. Doing all their guys and, and she remembers who she is. And all that. Then there's spectral riders and the elven army kind of come in. I'm done talking. Let's finish this. Want to fight? Any vodka left in that bottle? A swig apiece. Here. <laughs> Maybe I'll cheat. I'll look, I'll look up what happens at the end of the series through the books. The Imperial Army is probably crossing the Yoruga as we speak. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North's finished. Time to go south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Letho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight. And this time I'll kill you. Time to fight. Ready? As I'll ever be. You fear death. Stop whining and fight. What does it feel like to be almost? I said fight. The wolf has teeth. And they're sharp. I'm better. I can tell already. Of course you can. You tire quickly. Man, what a boss tired, huh? I'm talking. I don't... Shit. This cutscene was more intense in my battle. <laughs> Thank you. 
he's dead. Pitiful. He's forgotten so much about life that even the little things are surprising to him. Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. Along the way, he had met both the righteous and scoundrels, Bernard Lorito amongst the latter. Lorito sold Flotsam to Kedwin and scattered the local non humans to the four winds. Flotsam became a military base, its civilian population was resettled. In Edder, the Witcher witnessed Saskia the Dragon Slayer achieve a great victory. The Pontar Valley, previously Upper Edder, became a promised land for outcasts who dared dream of freedom. Even sly old Zoltan Chive came to believe in this land of bliss. Yet dark times approached for the architects of the New Order. Dark clouds had been gathering over Temeria since Voltest's death. Stripped of its king, the land was like a rich cloth which nobles began to shred. These minor scavengers, however, scurried off in fear when true predators reached out for their prize. The summit at Loch Muin sealed the fate of Foltest's realm, when Radovid of Redania and Penselt of Kedwin divided it between them. Years before, Geralt of Rivia had witnessed the fall of the council and conclave of mages. The summit in Loch Muin re-established both bodies. Their founders sacrificing Sheila de Tanzerville and her accomplices. Yet Radovid also required humility and loyalty from the proud mages, but this did not sit well with all of them. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respect. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia? for showing up tonight.